the road, Jack. And don't you come back no more, no more, no more, no more. Hit the road, Jack. And don't you come back no more. Oh, what you say? Hit the road, Jack. And don't you come back no more, no more, no more, no more. Hit the road, Jack. And don't you come back no more. Oh, woman, oh, woman, don't you treat me so mean. You're the meanest old woman that I've ever seen. I guess if you say so. Back. Oh, kids. Oh, my memory box. The treasures of my childhood. I like to take it out every now and then. Sometimes when I feel a little depressed. Oh, Mom. Don't let those wrinkles get you down. <laughs> what wrinkles? <laughs> Look, a magazine from the 70s. Wow. Did you know Michael Jackson was black? I didn't know he was a guy. Oh, wow. This old picture of you and Dad. Dad has an afro. Dad, you guys were tan? That's Ike and Tina Turner. Oh, look, it's my very first Valentine. Oh. That looks like your handwriting, Mom. Well, it's not. <laughs> It makes you pregnant. <laughs> oh, look, my Ray Paul Jones posters. <gasps> oh, God, Ray Paul Jones. He was rock and roll. Did you know he invented throwing up on stage? Oh, it just literally came pouring out of him. Oh, God, he was so sexy. <laughs> <laughs> He's that guy who's playing down at the Bolarama, right? He's playing at the Bolarama? In Azusa? I wonder if I can still get tickets. I'm gonna have to call a scalper. Oh, no, just go outside. They're leaving them on the windshields of cars. <laughs> it says on the back of the flyer that you get two free lanes of bowling and rental shoes if you stay through the whole concert. Look, you said we could go as soon as someone else came. Now you can bore Grandma. God bless you, Grandma. He did, sweetheart, with the liver of an ox. <laughs> Who is that young woman? It's a guy, Mom. Ray Paul Jones, the famous oh. rock star. Oh, he's playing at the Bolarama, but I don't think I'm gonna go. Free shoes. <laughs> I know. I haven't missed a concert of his in L.A. in 20 years. Oh, I always hoped he'd, he'd notice me and pull me from the audience, whisk me backstage, take me out to dinner, and then sing a song just for me. You know, that and weird sex and stuff. <laughs> he called the song Jenny. Everyone would know it was about me. Because I'd tell them. <laughs> well, I guess I'm over that fantasy. I mean, how many pairs of your panties with your phone number written on it can you throw at a guy before you realize he's just not going to call? 62. Ah, <laughs> oh, Elvis, he never called. Maybe I should have wrapped my panties in bacon. <laughs> I'm just a little old to be a groupie. <laughs> Besides, it's really not dignified. Not dignified to be the backbone of the underbelly of the music industry? Groupies are what keep rock bands on their feet. Without groupies, a rock band would be like, well, like Paul McCartney. <laughs> Is there a point to this, Mom? Must there be a point? I'm lonely, I like to talk. Oh, very well the point. The point is, keep your poster. You need your fantasies, your dream. You see, everything in your real life stinks, so you need some unattainable dream. That's why I still keep the candle burning for that sexy Merv Griffin. <laughs> oh, I like to think of him as the one who got away. Well, I'm surprised you didn't rebound into Paul Lind. Still the best center square Hollywood ever produced. Whatever it is, 
he had it. <laughs> well, I don't need fantasies. I have a full and satisfying life. Jack and I just got back together again, and I'm going to put all my energy into making it work. Ray Paul Jones was a little girl's dream. I'm a grown woman now, a wife, a mother. Hello? Who is this? Ah! <laughs> it's Merv! Oh, it's not Merv, you desperate old biddy! It's for me, and it's Ray Paul Jones! <laughs> oh, I can't believe it's you. I can't believe it's me. I can't believe it's not butter. God, I'm babbling. Oh, I'll stop. Oh, you're a god, a king, a poet, a prophet, a butcher, a baker, a candlestick maker. How did you get my number? <gasps> my pink panties? <laughs> oh, I knew you'd like them because of your song called I Like Pink Panties. <laughs> you want me to be your date tonight after the show? Well, gee, I don't know. I'm a grown woman with responsibilities. This is her mother. One of us will be there. <laughs> Oh, my God! There's so much to think about. What am I going to say? What am I going to wear? What are you going to tell your husband? Oh. oh, Jack. I'm so glad we got back together again. I think it's working great, and I'm so happy this time. But I was just thinking, let's play a little game. Do you ever fantasize about anybody? You. Only you. You are the one. When I'm alone, when I'm with you, it's you, only you. Well, let's just say that you could have any woman, and if this fantasy girl just happened along, you could sleep with her and it'd be okay with me. Who would she be? Uh-uh. You. Only you. <laughs> Jack. Now, come on, everybody has a fantasy. Let's just say you can have one woman, just one time, guilt-free. Who would it be? Well, I don't know. Maybe Marilyn down the block. Say, as a matter of fact, you know, her husband is out of town. I, if it's okay with you, I could be back here in 20 minutes. <laughs> Thanks, hon, this is a great game. Freeze, pal! I wasn't talking about somebody real. I was talking about a star, somebody unattainable. I like the other game better. Okay. Okay, so, uh, let me get this straight. If I could have somebody famous, somebody I couldn't possibly get, but if I could get her, then I could sleep with her and it would be okay with you? Yes. What about if Marilyn got famous? Oh, enough with Marilyn! It's a game, it's a game, it's a game! Now play, damn it! Uh... I'll be right back. I can't think about sex when I'm looking at you. How about that Jessica Rabbit? She's hot, hot, hot. Nah, I prefer someone human. How about Madonna? I said I prefer someone human. How about Claudia Schiffer? Ugh, she's been with David Copperfield. I'd rather have Siegfried and Roy's cast off. I know. What about a Playboy Playmate? Oh, 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 I would sleep with any one of them. But they're interchangeable. That's the problem. You can take the breasts off one and put them on another. <laughs> I do. <laughs> no. No, I need someone who I'll really remember. Someone who will make a lasting impression once the deed is done. Jack! Jack! I know! Drew Barrymore! <laughs> She's a young, shameless hussy with a firm little body and a wild, almost European attitude that says, I'm woman enough for a man and a bunny. Nah, I don't want Drew. I don't uh, go for that tattoo action, you know? You're so VH1. <laughs> Fine. If you're listening, Drew, I want you. No questions about your family, your past, your drinking. It's time you started a new addiction. Me. Boy, I'll 
I'll tell you, this is hard. I mean, fun, but it's hard. There's gotta be somebody out there who's good enough for me. <laughs> yeah, somebody famous, beautiful in a trappy way, and hasn't been touched by anyone. Yeah, well, there's nobody famous, beautiful, and hasn't been touched. Cindy Crawford? No, she was married to... <laughs> We've, We've got, got a winner! winner. <laughs> I have made my decision. I am going to sleep with Cindy Crawford. <laughs> That's good, Jack. She'd be so proud. <laughs> okay, honey, if Cindy says yes, you have my permission to sleep with her. Gotcha! <laughs> I mean, I know I'm not gonna really get her, but you know, it's kind of cool to know that if Cindy ever feels like she needs, and yes, supermodels have needs too. <laughs> if she ever needs just a regular guy, a real good-looking one, who makes love in the classic way. Man on top, socks on feet, and Raiders on TV. <laughs> well, uh, by the way, I'm gonna take some Polaroids too, okay? Sure. Oh, anyhow, it's just great to know that it's okay with you. Oh, and it is, sweetheart. Mwah. <laughs> oh, <laughs> by the way, this is kind of silly, but, well, I should have a celebrity fantasy too. I mean, someone, if the opportunity ever arose, it'd be okay with you. That's just fair, right? Well, sure, sure. Uh, let's see, how about, um, how about Merv Griffin? Ah. <laughs> My mother would kill me. Now, let me think. Hmm. I should have someone unattainable, too. Say I had a shot with, uh, ooh, this is just so unexpected. <laughs> Mm, Ray Paul Jones, that'd be okay, right? You know, it's just a fantasy. It's not like I need anybody else because you're so darn satisfying in the sack. <laughs> so, what do you say, you mighty redwood of love? You can have Cindy Crawford and I can have Ray Paul Jones. What do I care who you pick? It's just a fantasy, right? Yeah, right. <laughs> oh, honey, thank you. This is the best thing we've ever done for our marriage. <laughs> I love you. I love you, too. Oh, that's just horrible. Where'd you get the money for that thing? I sold mom's memorabilia. Kids, I need your help. I don't want to be one of those square old guys who is completely out of touch with popular culture. Too late, Daddy. Hey, don't diss me, Betty. <laughs> Look, kids, I'm going to begin my pop culture education by just randomly picking someone out of a hat who I have no interest in, say, like, uh... Cindy Crawford. Are you sure you wouldn't rather learn about Drew Barrymore? I want Cindy. She's untouched. She was married to Richard Gere. <laughs> hey, step off, bro. Word to your mother. Peace. Word to your father. Don't do that in public. <laughs> if you really want to know Cindy, read any one of these. I really, Daddy. She's 29. She's on her way out. You're grounded. <laughs> what did he say? He said you're grounded. <laughs> what do I do? You called Dad a geek. Really? <laughs> I thought I was just thinking it. <laughs> what do you got? Well, she's from DeKalb, Illinois. She loves jet skiing, rollerblading, and won't wear fur. God love her. <laughs> she likes designer clothes, she lives in Malibu, and she's got a thing for used car salesmen. Really? Huh. <laughs> hey, here's something. She wants to get in the movies. 
Ah, so, if I was, say, wandering along the beach out in Malibu, looking like I had an idea, she might think that I was a movie producer. All you need is a concept and a title. How about a supermodel being stalked by a pathetic loser? <laughs> pathetic producer. <laughs> Here's looking at you, Bubby. It's Bubby! Glam! <laughs> Where's that music coming from? Come in. It's me, Jenny Malloy. I'll be right out. <laughs> right, let's do it then, shall we, love? Oh, my God. I'm your biggest fan. I've seen every single concert you've ever given in L.A. Oh, God. You know, your career's over when they want to talk first. <laughs> all right, what do you want to talk about? Oh, gosh, I don't know. It's all so exciting. It's so glamorous. You want to stay another day, Limey boy? It'll be another 23 bucks. <laughs> you know, I always fantasize that if we met, we'd talk about your art. Your music. And maybe you'd write a song just for me. Oh. Oh, yeah, sure. Um, yeah, I feel the muse moving me. <clears throat> um, well, what was your name? Jenny. Right. Um, Jenny, 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 you look so great. Jenny, Jenny, Jenny. I lose this room at eight, so let's do it. <laughs> Can I call you Ray? Yeah. I have so many questions. There's so many things I want to ask you. Well, I think this will answer all your questions for you. Oh. Oh, Ray, I'm the mother of three. Oh, well, perhaps afterward, you could do a bit of laundry for me. <laughs> this isn't the way I pictured it at all. <laughs> uh, I feel something coming on. Oh, did I inspire you to write a new song? No, I... I think it was a mistake to order duck a la at a bowling alley. <laughs> I'll be right back. Oh, but, um, yeah, if it'll keep you in the mood, I'll sing to you. Jenny, 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 I want to make the... <laughs> what was that, a beak? <laughs> oh, yeah, sweet Jenny. Rock and roll never dies. And it sure smells like it did. <laughs> I can't believe you were arrested for stalking Cindy Crawford. I wasn't stalking her. When you have your wife's permission, it's not stalking. I just can't believe you. We just get back together again and you trick me into playing some silly little game and you take it seriously. I may never forgive you. 
Where'd you get the tattoo? You're forgiven. <laughs> Thanks for bailing me out anyway. Well, it looks like the cops really gave you a working over. No, it wasn't the cops. I'll tell you, those Malibu stars really stick together. They all came running out of their houses and beat the hell out of me. You know, that Burgess Meredith can really kick for an old man. Then I got hit on the head by Tom Hanks. He came running out in one of his Oscars and walloped me. Nice guy, though. Which Oscar was it? Yeah. Forrest Gump, 1994. Oh, he was so good in that. Let's rent it. It's a nice movie. Mm. You know, Jack, I think I was wrong. I would be really hurt if you slept with Cindy Crawford, and I know you'd be hurt if I slept with Ray Paul Jones. You know, I always liked that Hanks guy. Ever since Bosom Buddies. Thank God he didn't win an Emmy. You know, those things have really sharp edges. I know. You always were my second choice. Well, what does it cost to say it? You were always my second choice, too. Oh, honey. Let's go upstairs and settle for second best. Oh, man, that was great. It's the best it's ever been. You said it, baby. Just goes to show you. Fantasies are wonderful, but in a real lasting marriage, we are each other's fantasy. Thanks, Cindy. You're welcome, Ray. <laughs> What is your first name? Jeff, New York. Well, Jeff, I'm known as different people in different parts of the world. For instance, my little senoritas in Guatemala call me Senor Flappe, the bunny who rides alone, except for my checks, of course. In Kentucky, they call me when they get tired of their cousins. At the WB Network, they refer to me as that talking bear. And here at the set of Unhappily, they call me God. Hail Flappy.